we want to determine the enthalpy of a reaction. So that's delta H. It's the energy of the reaction, but we call it enthalpy. And there's three ways to do this. We could use other reactions. Algebraically add them together. We could use the heat of formation. That's the delta HF or the enthalpy of formation of products and reactants. We could use the bond energies. In this case, this example, we're going to use the heat of formation, which is what we call the standard heat of formation of these particular compounds from their elements. So the heat of formation of methane, O2, CO2, and H2O to determine the overall heat of this reaction. So the delta HF of this particular reaction, I'm sorry, not delta HF, just delta H, the change in enthalpy of this particular reaction, since this is not a formation uh, forming one compound, we're forming two, so it's just delta H. This is going to equal, and you know what that symbol is, the sum of the heats of formation. Now that zero just means it's at, under standard conditions of CO2 plus two times the heat of formation of H2O. Okay, so these are our products. So we're going to add up the products and then we're going to subtract the heats of formation of the reactants. Methane and two, because we have two um, oxygens two times the heat of formation for O2, okay? So again, we're actually subtracting the sum of the heats of formation of the reactants from the sum of the heats of formation of the products. And that will give us the heat of reaction for the whole thing. Okay, so some things we need to note here. Uh, oxygen is an element, it's not a compound, so um, it's important to know that delta H, F for an element is zero. So we need to keep that in mind, that's a very important concept. All right? And that's the element at what we call standard state, and it is uh, stable at room temperature, so we say that elements are zero. If, um, if I say that the heat of reaction or heat of formation of methane for example, that's one of our compounds here, methane, equals 74.9, and that would be negative 74.9. Uh, that is the energy of forming methane from the elements, carbon, plus two hydrogen producing CH4. So that's, that's where this delta HF comes from. It comes from the formation of the compound from its products. Okay. So let's say we look up everything and um, we find that the delta HF of CO2 is equal to minus 
0.5 kilojoules per mole and this would be kilojoules per mole as well and we look up the delta HF for water and that equals minus 285.9 kilojoules per mole again we would look this up in a table in the book or it would be given okay and we've already said that the delta HF for oxygen the element that's going to be zero again because the heat of formation for an element is zero okay let's move this up now zoom it in a bit and let's do the calculation okay so what we're going to have is um, adding all of this up we get negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole that's for CO2 times uh, plus 2 times a minus 285.9 kilojoules per mole. Where did that come from? That's water. So we're going to add those two together even though they're negative we're adding them together and now we're going to subtract uh, methane. So here's methane. We look over here at methane. It's minus so we're subtracting a minus 74.9 kilojoules per mole and that's times one of course and then we're going to subtract because again we're subtracting the reactants uh, two times oxygen which is zero kilojoules per mole all right we add all of these together and we get the change of heat of this particular reaction we're burning methane we would expect it to be exothermic and indeed it is when we add all of this together we get minus 890.4 kilojoules per mole so again what we've done here is we found the heat of this particular reaction and we did it using the heats of formation of the products and the reactants. So we added up the heats of formation of the react of the products and we subtracted from them the heats of formation of the reactants, remembering that the heat of formation of an element is zero. We added those up algebraically. If we had two moles in our equation then we made sure that we multiplied times 2 and we algebraically added it together and it's negative 890.4 kilojoules per mole to combust methane.